welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video we are closing out the first week of november and opening up the second week so as usual we're going to start with the expenses but before we do i did get a question asking me about what these marks here are these are what i um so when i write down my um expenses for the week i make this little triangle to know that this is something that i have to take out of my envelope and then before i film my weekly budget update i do a kind of a unstuffing of all of the envelopes to uh of what i spent throughout the week so i usually do not film that process but let me know if you would want to see me like do an unstuffing where i take all of this i take all of my envelopes and then i go through and check um what i have spent in which envelope and yeah just take out the money and exchange the bills uh so yeah let me know if you want to see that but okay let's just start with the expenses we had 3207 in groceries 1449 in spending and 3911 in dine out we had 184 and 54 in health it's a big expense but i do have um plans that some of it will be paid back by my insurance if it does i'm just gonna take uh, the reimbursement and put it as a new paycheck um so 45 in beauty i had my facial then 1486 in gas uh 66 and and 10 i went thrift shopping so in clothing 28 25 in miscellaneous i bought some things i needed for the house and 300 in rent for uh, october so in total that was 724 euros and 42 cents perfect let's flip through the weekly budget and we'll go through the amounts our paycheck was 600 euros that's what we worked with uh perfect and now let's look at the amounts we have rolled over so groceries has a rollover of 10 15 16 17 18 euros so that's great 50 minus 18 was 32 spent spending has a rollover of five which meant which means we spent 15 and dine out has a rollover of 10 and 11 so that means we spent 39 yeah 39 perfect so i would usually put this money in the miscellaneous actually mm, let me see how much do we have 20 25 30 31 2 3 and 4 okay so what i'm gonna do is add these four into the miscellaneous which is gonna bring it to nine and then these 10 20 25 30 i'm just gonna add into the savings challenges in the next cash stuffing because it's just gonna make it more interesting and i have plenty of money now in um, the miscellaneous envelope that i feel okay with having putting less of the rollover in here because initially i started putting the rollover from my cash envelopes in here just to kind of beef it up but it has now 346 euros so i'm good with what it is so I'll put these 30 in the cash, uh, in the savings challenges. So let's quickly do the other uh, categories. So five went into gas, 75 in rent, 50 in utilities. And as I said, five we put into miscellaneous plus the four that we put in today. So in total, that was 225 euros. So 600 minus 225 is 375 so 375 we brought here to short-term sinking funds we put 40 into beauty 20 into clothing gifts got a 10 health got 50 subscriptions got 15 and travel got a 50. so in total that was 185 so 375 minus 185 is 190 190 we are bringing down here to long-term sinking funds where we put five into babies five into car 25 in deposit five into pets five in technology and five in weddings so in total that was 50 euros 190 minus 150 uh, is 140 and all of that will go here so we put 110 into savings challenges and we're adding technically rollover which is going to be 30 
and that in total is 140, but we'll just take that rollover and add it into the savings challenges. So 140, oh, sorry, this should be a zero. Oh, sorry. That means we have a zero euro based budget, which means that each year of our income has a place to go into our budget. Okay, perfect. Now let's flip to next week. We have an income of 650 as well as our rollover of 30 euros. So in total, that's 680 to work with. And then groceries is going to get 50. Spending is going to get 20. Dine out a 50. Gas is going to get five, rent 75, utilities is going to get a 50, and miscellaneous a five. So in total for cash envelopes and bills, we have 255 going in the second week of November. So 680 minus 255 is 425. We're bringing that here to short-term sinking funds. I have my little iPad with my cheat sheet. So beauty is going to get 40, clothing is going to get 20, gifts is going to get 10, health is going to get 50, subscriptions a 50, because we need to beef it up. And there's a very loud motorcycle outside my window, that's nice. And then 50 is going into travel as well. So in total for short term sinking funds, that's going to be 220 this week. So 425 minus 220 is 205. So bringing that here to long-term sinking funds, we're gonna put five into babies, five into car, 25 in deposit, five in pets, five in technology, and five in weddings. So in total, that's 50 euros. And then 205 minus 55 is one, no, 205 minus 50 is 155. And that is indeed everything that we're gonna put in our savings challenges, which is the 120 from this pay, uh, 125 from this paycheck, plus the 30 that we have here in the rollover, which means that leftover, we have zero euros and each euro of our income has a place to go into our budget. Perfect. So I will be back tomorrow with a cash stuffing of this paycheck. So make sure to stay tuned for that. But other than that, I hope you have an amazing day, morning, evening, wherever you are. And I hope to see you next time. Bye. Uh -huh.